Okay, so you've just finished installing Oracle Database. You want to start using Oracle Developer. Now, I want to be clear that this is not a video about using Oracle SQL Developer in general. It just focuses on one thing and one thing only, creating a clean connection that you can work with. Now, when I say clean, what I mean is a connection that doesn't show you all the system tables so that you can just focus on the tables that you create and can do the work you want. Uh, I'll show you that in a moment to become clearer what I mean. Okay, so there's three general steps I'm going to go through uh, to create a clean connection in Oracle SQL Developer. First, I'll show you how to create a connection with the Oracle System User Account once you have a fresh install. Next, from within that System User Connection that you've just created, uh, you can create a new user account with maximum privileges that can do whatever you want. And then with that new user account, you'll create a clean connection. That is really the workspace within you, which you want to work. Okay, so now let's get started. So again, you have to have Oracle um, database already installed and the Oracle service running. And then you can go ahead and start uh, Oracle SQL Developer. So once it starts up, you see a window like this. And then uh, over here you on the over here on the left, on the top left, uh, you have here the connections button, the plus sign. And so you want to create a new connection. Again, you're first we're going to create a connection with the Oracle system user account. So you click New Connection and get this view. You can call the connection whatever you want. I can, I'd like to call it something with system in it. So here I call the name of my class, ptm 382 system. And then you enter the username. You have to use system as a username because this is based on the default system uh, connection and you enter the password that you use when you install the Oracle database. If you don't remember this password, then uh, there's no nothing you can do except to uninstall the Oracle database and reinstall it with a password that you actually remember. Okay. Then normally you want to save the password so you don't have to enter it again. And you can click test if you want. Uh, to make sure it works. And I don't know if you saw that, but here you see status success, so it works. And so we can go ahead and connect. You can click connect directly if you want also. Okay, so now once uh, you've created that, on the left here, you have the btm 32 system, the connection that you just created. And click the plus arrow so that you can see all the objects in there. I'll go ahead and close this report window since we don't need that here, that X. So if you see all these uh, items on the left, what you're looking for is the other users item at the very bottom there. And you want to create a user. So to do that, you right click on other users. And one of the options, uh, you can just barely see it here, is create user. Okay. So once you click create user, you can now create a new user account and you just call it what I want. You know, use Tripartio you know, for mine and you create a new password. I recommend using the same password as the system password, assuming that this is a computer that you are using on your own so that you don't have too many passwords to remember. Okay, so you enter the new password and confirm the password. Now here uh, you need to be very careful. The first thing you do is you click apply and you should get a message successfully process SQL command which tells you that your new user has been created. The next thing you want to do, uh, this is still part of creating the user, is that you want to grant this new user the necessary privileges. So these are granted roles and system privileges. First you go to granted roles and you want to grant all. Again, this is a local computer, you're just using it for your own purposes, and so you want to grant all privileges. Now note what happens here. You click Apply, and when you click Apply, 
Uh, I'll be honest, I'm not sure why the errors occur, but they always do. Uh, so, uh, in general, this is because it's a brand new user, I know that. But then you click OK, and then you close it. Okay. Then, now you've created a new user, so under other users, you can click this plus sign and expand, and then scroll down to look for the user that you created. There it is, try part here, it's going to be automatically capitalized. And then now you right click on that again and you click edit user. So now you want to go back to granted roles because you want to grant the user all the roles. And okay, what I just did, nothing was granted, that's fine. You have to do this multiple times. I'm not sure exactly why it works this way, but this is what you need to do. So you click grant all, apply, so now it was successful, that's fine. And then now you go to system privileges and you grant all again and you apply. Okay, here you get an error message, no problem, click OK. Then you click close and you go back and you verify it again. Okay, so go back to the new user, minus uh, three partio, right click, edit user, and now look at the granted roles. Now you confirm that yes, all the roles were granted. So that means anything you want to do is going to work. Don't worry about admin roles, just the, the, the granted column is fine, default is fine. Go to system privileges, and some of them are granted, others are not. For the basic things that I need to do, it's fine. Uh, having some granted are fine, others, uh, I, I don't worry about it. Okay, so so now I've created this user, and then I can uh, expand, I can collapse all these to remove all this clutter. And now my third step is I want to create a new user account. But show you why you want to do that. If you uh, open this up again, the plus sign, and you look at the tables, uh, the table space that you're working with with the system user, there's a lot of default tables that are visible to the system user. Now if you want to create some tables of your own that work with, it's going to be listed among all of these and it's not going to be easy to see. That's this what I call a not clean working environment. So now we're creating a new connection that doesn't have all uh, those listed tables. To do that, you create a new connection, just like you did with the system user. Then this time, you can call it, again, whatever you want. I'll call it BTM382, uh, just my regular one. Or, and then you use the username that you just created. So the connection name can be whatever you want. It, it doesn't matter. It's just a label. But the username is a user that you created just now. In my case, uh, Tripartio. And the password that you used. Again. Uh, if you're using it on your own, you can just use the same password. You don't have to remember multiple passwords. Then you save the password and you connect. And now on the top left, I'll collapse this. You see you have the original one that was created, btm 3 system, the system user, and then now the new one that was created. Uh, so the difference here is that with the system user, as I showed you, when you expand the tables, you see all these tables. But then with the with the new one, with a new user account that's not a system user, when you expand the tables, you don't see any systems tables. So if you create uh, a new table uh, of your own, then it's going to be blank. Okay, so I can demonstrate that with a sample table. Uh, I'm just grabbing this sample. Here's a sample table that I'm creating, I'm getting from, pasting this in, I got this from w3schools.com. So when you create that, you execute this code, table person is created. And whenever you create a new table, it doesn't show up here until you click refresh. And there you see the person's table. If on the other hand, I was to do the same thing in the system account, uh, so here, uh, so this is a system window. So here I go. I create a person's table in the system account. And 
you have to wade through all of these look for it look for it okay let me refresh look for it and there it is sure enough but that's what I call a messy work environment so this is why I want to avoid and that's why I'm working with a clean connection you create a table that's all it shows just as you expect